So Lusitania is all about warfare in late medieval Portugal, and um, it was suggested by uh, a wargamer in Portugal called Yao Especial, and I apologise to Yao at the start of this sentence if I mispronounce uh, any of the troop types in here because my Portuguese is non-existent. Um, but he was very keen and said, well, why don't we do a chapter about uh, warfare in Portugal? I thought, well, is anybody going to be interested in that? But I thought, no, this is a good example of taking the rules and adopting them to a particular niche area that you may be interested in. I mean, for example, we have somebody in Denmark who may want to do something about a particular style of warfare in Denmark or Sweden or wherever. But this is, shows how you can take the rules, come up with specific uh, changes to uh, account for the different troop types that you might find in a particular area. So here we've got we've got a particular new style of handgunner called the Espingarderos. Now they weren't using anything that was really any different from what's been elsewhere, but they were one of the early adopters of massed volleys. And in a couple of battles, they made an enormous bang, which uh, had, a, had a very scary effect on enemy horses in particular. So we have special rules for that in here. And um, in some battles, they'll be very effective. In others, they'll do nothing at all. And that's deliberate. That's how it's designed to work. We have some mounted, uh, mounted crossbowmen here uh, that were very typical of warfare in, in Portugal. And, but, it's, but essentially, under Hinetes, the, the light cavalry that were uh, with the little Adalga shields, which were very common in Spain as well. But essentially, warfare in Portugal was either about fighting each other, so you had uh, the royalists and, and, and the rebels, or they, they'd fight their Spanish neighbors as well, which is where these, these, these other troop types come in. Um, but it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a niche area, and it shows how bill hooks can be adapted to fit pretty well anything within what I've called wet, late medieval Western European Christendom, because they share a common military culture. Death to the Duke is the name of the scenario for this chapter. It'll help you to play the Battle of Alfa Robera, but a downsized and more billhook suited version of what was a much larger battle. Special events allow armies in this theatre to, for example, to drop caltrops when attacked, to, to make a show of valour and rapidly approach their foe, or quickly recover from disarray.